Hello friends, welcome to Unix Programming Tutorials. So up to now, we complete two units. The first one is unit one regarding to introduction. And second one is unit two regarding file system. We completed these two units. Now the third unit using the shell. So what is a shell means? A shell provides you with an interface to the unique system. It gathers input from you and execute programs. So based on that input, when program finishes executing, it displays programs output. Shell is a interface between user and unique system. It takes the input from user and execute those instructions after execution finishes it displays the output shell is an environment in which we can run our commands or programs and shell scripts so you can execute the commands you can write the programs and you can write the scripts also now we see that it's a command line structure so up to now we execute many commands in our previous classes so it, it is also similar so what is a command Command is a program that tells the unique system to do something. So that means if I give date, then unique system interpret that it going to print the date. And what is the syntax for giving the commands? You give the command name and you can give options and you can give arguments. So arguments is nothing but on what files you are going to perform this command. So options means in what way you are going to represent the result okay so we can see with one example so for example ls so what is the ls command it lists the all the files list all the files in the current directory in the current directory so for example there are three files let us assume file 1 file 2 and file 3 if i press ls then it displays file 1 file 2 file 3 and ls hyphen l so how we can give the options means by using hyphen and you can give option option l option a option r you can use multiple options also so hyphen l hyphen a or you can use hyphen l a okay the hyphen l means ls hyphen l means it represents long listing of files that means in our previous classes we discussed that it displays like this so link files uh, username after that group name so after that size so after that so time last modified after that file name that means it displays this data that means if you are using the ls then it displays the files if I am giving ls hyphen l that means I am providing some options then it change the result so based on the options and coming to argument if I give ls hyphen l file 1 now this command is applied on only file 1 that means now we can get only the file 1 details if I give ls hyphen l I give all the three files details so that is the difference between ls ls hyphen l ls hyphen l file one so for example i want to display the hidden files also then i can give ls hyphen l hyphen a then it displays the hidden files details also now so who command which is used to so display the so currently logged in users and date means it displays the date so for example how i can terminate the command means date semicolon who now it displays the current date and who are logged into the system currently so these details will be print so we can execute all these instructions at the time of practical session so now so date semicolon so this is the new operator introduced to you in this class so pipe symbol so pipe is nothing but you can transfer the output input to another command so what is the output of this command so date semicolon who 
so now it prints the date after that who means it currently logged in the system that output is redirected to wc that means the pipe command is used to take the output of one command and that output is given to another command as input now it displays the word count so word count is a command so word command is used to know the how many lines how many words and byte counts byte counts okay so in this case the who have only one user so it displays one line and five means there are five words and the number of bytes is 44 it displays like this and here my intention is i want to transfer so both the outputs what is the date date have one line so after that who that means two lines i want to transfer these two as a input to this word count then i can give bracket in brackets i'm going to write date semicolon who now these two lines are transferred to wc so now it displays how many lines two lines so how many words 12 words and the bytes is 82 now another command t so t command read the input from the standard input and write onto the standard output or files in this case so date who it returns some output for example these two lines are the output now these two lines are saved into a file the file name is save so this is the file so what is the purpose of the t it takes the input from standard input and stores the output on file so this t command stores the output in the file save now this output is piped to wc command so again the same output meanwhile what happened here the output is saved in one file save if you see cat save then it display the some message so uh, data who are the current logged in details and another terminator symbol is amberson so sleep 5 so sleep 5 means it waits 5 seconds so after that it executes the next instruction but here i am using the amberson terminator so it prints by first okay so this is the one nine two four five is a background process it sleeps five second and so meanwhile it prints by and after five seconds it print high okay so in this class so what you learn so one is piping another one is t command another one is amberson so piping means one command output is given to as input to another command so t command means so output is saved in one file and amberson is used as a terminator of commands so now we see the commands how we can execute ls is for the list command ls hyphen l means it's an option ls hyphen l means it's a long listing display ls hyphen l hyphen a means it denotes the these hidden files also and you can use ls hyphen l a so both use the same result ls hyphen l hyphen a hyphen r in this way also we are going to use options now so who command prints the who are currently logged in date command prints the current date now we see the pipe command so for example date semicolon who pipe wc means word count now it displays the date after that it pipe only output of who so it displays one five double four that means one line five words 44 bytes i i want to pipe the entire output that means date and who then i can write brackets date who and i write pipe command and wc now so two lines so 12 words 85 is the characters okay now i want to save this data in your in one file 
how in that time I use t command date who it displays like this now I save this data in one file that means I redirect this to one file one file save by using the t and after that I find word count okay now the data is saved in save cat save okay sleep we see sleep command sleep 5 means it sleep 5 seconds yes now we can combine this with another command sleep 5 echo high it prints high and by using the ampersand so this is the meta character used for to execute the commands in background echo by now it prints by after 5 seconds it prints high yes 